My name is Konstantin Magnus. In the Soudini tutorial, we are going to create three-dimensional shapes from 2D images out of COPS. So, as you may know, the new Copernicus context brings up a bunch of two-dimensional SDF shapes, and we are going to set them up like blueprints and project them into a volume using a bit of fax. So, in the end, you can dive inside any cops and just change, for example, the size or the rotation or any other feature and it will update on the 3D shape. Also, feel free to change the orientation of your images or the number. It's quite flexible, really. So let's switch over in a new document and create a geometry node. And inside the geometry node, we are going to set up our COP images. So the first COP node I will call front. And inside, we can just type shape and we'll get an SDF shape. Let's copy uh, that circle and call the next COP node side. And copy it again and call it top. So the side, I will switch to a diamond, make it a bit smaller. And the top, I will switch to, let's say, a star and also shrink it slightly. Now, these will be my three shapes and I merge them. And now I would like to lay them out like blueprints. So let's use a primitive node, do a transformation, remove capital N from transform and now we just want to use the rotation so the front is correct but the side which is primitive number one needs to be rotated around the y-axis so dollar PR equals one I will multiply if this is correct by 90 degrees and then we are also going to do something around the x-axis for the second or let's rather say the primitive number two so now my blueprints are set up i can create a volume which has the same size as my three images by the way you can freely position those images it doesn't need to be rectangular and it doesn't need to be moved at a specific location and just so i can see better i set the initial value of the volume i called d um, to one so I can see the resolution, set it to by size and make it finer so it's 0.01. And under properties, I can set the border type to SDF and the display mode to ISO surface. So let's remove the initial value and set it back to zero. And this volume will be written into by a volume wrangle. I connect my blueprints or my images to the second input and I will calculate the intersection. You can also calculate other things using Boolean operations. And we will read in our first volume. D underscore zero is what I get with volume sample from the second input. Uh, the primitive zero at VHP and the VHP uh, lookup is quite forgiving. As you will see, it's it's working without flattening anything. And here's our cylinder. To see it better, I'll use the convert volume and invert it. And then I can basically just copy the first line with the volume sample twice. And then set D underscore one to primitive number one, D underscore two to primitive two. Now to see them in conjunction, I can use the minimum of d underscore zero, d underscore one, and d underscore two. So that would be a Boolean union, and the max function would be an intersection. Now this is pretty sharp, and if you want to smooth this afterwards, you can use the remesh node, give it five iterations, and a couple of smoothing steps and 
also plenty of resolution so I would at least use 0.02 or something that corresponds to the resolution of your voxel field. Now if this is not going smooth enough and you don't want to blur it afterwards too much you can also use a really strong function which is a smooth intersect function here from Ingo Kiles on his website you find union, subtraction and intersection. I will copy the smooth intersection function and what I want is a radius for that. So I will set up a parameter which I can then use. Let's give it 0.1 to get started and then I'll integrate my function. I will shorten its name to SM intersect and because this is shader toy code we need to remove the superfluous float and also replace mix by lerp. We can also clean up the code a little bit to make it more readable. After that, we can replace the max function by sm underscore intersect and make sure to use our radius. So now when you play around with this, you should get a blend between the first two images. And we just have to repeat this for the third volume. So let's calculate f at d against d underscore 2. Now all these are blended together. We can quickly give this a color using maybe a bounding box. And to get the same way of visualization, you can merge it with our drawings. So let's use another primitive node to set them up. I'll do a transformation and this time it's going to be a translation. So the front should be moved back. So in case the primitive is number zero, we will just move it. If it is primitive number one, which is the side, we will also move it. And the top will then be moved along the Y axis. And I have to multiply it by minus one to move it to the opposite direction. Now we can again remove the n attribute and connect it into a merge so that way you can debug your shapes better and now feel free to experiment with where to position or how to shape each of these SDFs. For example we can try a triangle and then it should update exactly now, what we can also do is, of course, use all the SDF tools you got inside Copernicus. Feel free to play with those. While working, you may also want to reduce the resolution to 0.02 and maybe ignore the remeshing for a while. And again, you can place these images. For example, you could transform and rotate them a bit like so or move them and see how this changes your shape. Thank you for watching.